I'm sure you guys have seen those crazy tip videos where people are putting Vaseline on their lenses or putting a super sharp object dangerously close to the element on your lens. That is not what we're going to be doing today. What are you doing? Nothing. Doesn't look like nothing. Today we're going to be talking about camera tips that you guys can actually use and I'm sure you'll use at least one of them almost every single time that you guys head out and shoot. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. The first hack that we're gonna be talking about, I'm sure you guys have been in the situation where you're out on a beach like this and you need to change one of your lenses on your camera. There's sand blowing around, maybe it's windy and you like kind of faffing and trying to get the lens like on and off and get your next lens but your sense is out and there's sand blowing it, maybe there's a little bit of rain. It's such a bad idea to do that and I have a really simple solution for the quickest lens swap that you guys can do. So basically you wanna grab the lens that you're gonna to swap to, grab your camera and grab both of the lenses together like that. So this is why it can be a little tricky if your lenses are really big and really wide. Maybe if you don't have hands that are super big, it's gonna be a little more difficult but this is a really nice way of swapping lenses. First thing you wanna do, keeping your center facing down, just pop off the bottom one, grab your top camera, unhook it, flip it around, and swap, and clip that second one in. And in my experience, that is the easiest and safest way to swap out a lens without exposing your sensor to the elements for too long. So, Give it a go, it can take a little bit of getting used to, but basically you just want to grab it, pop it off, swap it over, and you're done. Boom. Easy, quick, safe for your sensor. Have you guys ever been in a situation where you need to take out your card, maybe to swap it for another one, or you just have some loose cards, you really don't want to just throw them in the bag and have them floating around you're gonna lose them in all the different little pockets. Maybe one of them gets flung out and you never get that precious footage that you've spent all day filming. There's a really simple solution and basically when you wanna pop out your card, there's a way to keep it safe by grabbing your body and lens cap and you can have a perfect little card storage area right in there. It's a little rattly, but it's not gonna be a problem. You can seal it up and that's gonna be perfect to just keep them really nice and safe. You can make sure that you're gonna know where they are in your bag. Okay, next one is super simple guys, but I'm sure you've been in a situation where you like have your camera on a gimbal or something and you have one of these plates stuck on your camera and you need to change it out. Maybe to have a different mounting system and you don't have anything to get it off. So the super simple solution to this is just to keep any sort of coin in your bag and whenever you find yourself in that situation, you can just undo it and swap over the plate onto anything else that you might want. Just make sure you have a really nice thin one because otherwise they're not gonna fit into all of the different little screw mounts. So these days, there are so many people that are doing like vlog style stuff. It's not only about cinematic videos. And something that I often find myself doing in my vlogs is just kind of filming different places while talking to the person that's watching the video and maybe explaining things. It can be like, wow, look at these banana plums. Wow, look at this road, we're going down there. You don't always get the best audio when you guys are doing that because you're talking straight into the back of the microphone. It sounds like a bit muffled and echoey. You're gonna be actually getting the best audio from whatever you're showing in front of you, which is sometimes noisy, like the beach or some waves or something like that. So the hack for this video is just super simple, but it's really effective. And that's just to take your microphone off flip it around backwards like this and then when you guys are doing your like show and tell style video you are talking straight into the microphone it's really close to your mouth and you're going to be getting the best possible audio that you guys can get you can walk around and film the things that you are talking about look at that look at that and you're going to be getting the best audio let me show you the difference of what it actually makes by just simply flipping it around so this is me filming with the mic forward you can Still hear me and the sound's fine, but it's not as good as it could be and if there was a lot of noise in front of me, like the ocean, it would be picking that up more than my voice. 
now here's the same clip but the mic is facing backwards and even if I was showing you guys anything here the audio is going to be so much more crispy and not getting as much background noise from anything there like the ocean. If you guys have ever wanted to make an amazing website, which you should, you can do so using a Squarespace. They offer some of the world's leading templates that you guys can get and start building your website right away. You can also connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content. They also allow you to send email communications, manage your audience and leverage audience insights all in one easy to use platform. Create a community on your website with the ability to do thread posts, comments and likes. They have some powerful blogging tools where you can categorize, schedule and share any posts that you want to to help further build that community. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial when you guys are ready to launch or use code SEANKITCHEN to get 10% off any website or domain that you guys are wanting to buy. Have you guys ever needed to change out a battery and you grab one and you put it in your camera only to see that it's also completely dead, you've already used it and then you're kind of like getting another one. Maybe it's a high pressure situation where you have clients waiting and you're trying to swap out that battery. Having just some basic battery organization is gonna be a game changer in terms of just like having quick swapping and like being ready to go at all times. So basically there are a couple different ways that you guys can do this. You can either have two dedicated different little compartments, maybe these two on the top of your bag and you can keep all of your empty batteries in this one and all of your full batteries in this one. When you take one out from the camera that's empty, you throw it into that empty one and when you take one out from your charger at home that's full, you can put it in the full one. There's a couple other little ways that you can do this. There is some really nice little clips that go on batteries. I don't have any, but I have some other camera batteries that have like little clips. One really nice way to do this if you don't want to have dedicated compartments and you want to keep them in something like a pouch is that you can put the clip onto your battery if it's full and once you've used it, don't put that clip back on. You're going to know which one is full and which one is empty at all times so that you guys can just swap them out and be ready to go. Okay, that is going to be it for the tips guys. I hope you guys find yourselves using these hacks one day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh,